uh, we have here a shock rotator vacuum and um, the, uh, the hose here has been cut or well, it's split and we're losing the vacuum from the bottom of this unit. So we're going to replace the hose and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this bottom part. But all we have to do is press this lever and pull this out and the whole piece now separates so we can work on this unit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this bottom piece so I know where these screw holes are and when I take the screws out if they are different sizes I can then mark up the picture of this bottom to know where the screws go back in place when I have to finish. As you can see I took a photograph of the bottom plate here uh, with my camera and printed it out of my printer. Uh, you can just draw this on a piece of paper and mark the holes where the screws are. Uh, I'm just going to take a magic marker and I'm just going to number the screw holes. Starting with the, uh, the hole right over here, I mark this as number one. The center one is number two and number eight on the other side in the back. So you can see I've numbered these screw holes. I just happen to have these containers for pills. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screws in these containers. If the screws are uh, of the same size. I'll just put them in the same container as the other screws of the same size. I'm starting with screw number one now. This is a Phillips head screwdriver. I know in some of the older models or some other models, they use uh, different kind of screw holes. Uh, sometimes you have to buy a special set. Uh, there are star screwdrivers, there are rectangular screwdrivers, there are different kind of shapes, so you shouldn't meddle with this stuff. Screw number two. Screw number eight. Once you have all the screws out, you just turn it over very carefully because there were two, these two screws still stayed in there. I couldn't get them out. So just turn it over carefully and just simply lift off this front white piece and um, there are some side pieces here just make sure that they stay in so I just turn this upside down and put this aside and now you have now you see that we've done as a, as a stop gap until we found a new hose which we got online, and I'll give you that details a little bit later as to where I bought it. Uh, but we put some uh, duct tape, you know, duct tape uh, is for everybody, and uh, it works very well when, uh, in a pinch. The next step is to take this piece off. So I'm going to just lift it up to show you where the screws are. Not sure you can see that. I'll try and bring it closer to the camera. See there's two screws down there. One here and one there. And I'm going to take those screws out. And that'll take this whole plate off. And I have two separate cups in because these screws are going to be a different size. 
and I have a little magnetic thing here to help take the screws out. So I'm just going to put that aside in a separate dish. Take this other screw out. This will allow me to get to the piece that's holding this end of the hose in. So I'm going to be taking this white piece out. And you'll see that pretty carefully. All you need to do is to lift this little piece out very carefully. Because all you need to get to is this piece right here. I'm going to remove this little connector very carefully. This little connector here so I can take this piece off entirely so it won't be in the way. Take it over very gently. Okay. And you see that it, it comes off of those two little pins down there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the belt from the roller. And then I'm going to lift the roller out. And this way I can now get to this piece here that's holding the hose. And just, you'll notice over on the side, there's a little button so that kind of fits into the red slot. I'm just going to rotate a little bit to get it out of the slot. Now I'm going to rotate this clockwise to unscrew this little white piece from the hose. Then, theoretically, if I turn in the same direction, it's going to unscrew the hose from inside the mechanism. First, I'm going to take this tape off. And now with the tape off, you can see where the, uh, the hose was split. So now all I have to do is also rotate it clockwise, and we pull the hose out. I mentioned before that I was going to tell you about the hose replacement. It's called a lower duct hose. Uh, the one I found in Amazon.com is a Lamnu. It's made for the shock uh, rotator vacuums. Um, it's one and a half inch replacement. And it's compatible with, as I mentioned, the shock rotator vacuums. I found it on Amazon. I think it's about $12 right now. They come two in a box, so you have an extra one in case this one breaks. And um, as you can see, it's made for these models. I have the NV450 and it fits in that one just as well. The next step is to then turn this counterclockwise until it screws all the way in to the housing. Now we take this piece here and we know that this little white button is gonna to have to go into this little hole down here. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna first Turn, turn this now, and again, this is going to be counterclockwise. And put it in all the way, like so. And now the trick is to be able to get this back so I may have to stretch the hose a little bit. There's a little slot back here. Get my head out of the way. Slot here. Put it in on a little bit of an angle and then twist this into place and it snaps into, and it snaps into the hole. So now we've got that connected. 
put the roller back in. Put the belt on first. So I'm just putting this piece back. First, I'm going to put it back in its place. And again, you have some slots here, which goes over the top of the brush wheel. And you also have slots here that go over the flange of the hose connection. So it helps it line up properly. Make sure it goes down. You got the headlights over here. And then I just take this little connector and very carefully line it up. And make sure it snaps all the way down into place. Okay, so now it's a question of putting the screws back in. And I'll first start with the two small screws that I took out last. Okay, now it's a question of uh, putting it back together. So what we do is we put the cover on. Turn it over. I've already put the screws in. I'm just going to tighten them up now. Now take it and make sure that we're lined up with these connectors. The connectors are back here, so we just turn it sideways. Snaps into place, and let's turn it on. That's it, folks. Good luck with yours.